What's going on, y'all? Before we start this video, I want to personally thank each and every one of y'all for subscribing to my channel, for watching my videos, watching my content, liking my videos, sharing them. I appreciate it, y'all, tremendously. It means the world to me. In the big world of YouTube, I know it's a small channel, but it's very big to my heart and very big to me, and I appreciate it. Secondly, I want to thank all my sponsors that has just helped me out tremendously and the channel uh, support, supported me and what I've been doing supported the channel I appreciate y'all appreciate the ones of y'all that has participated in this giveaway uh, we're fixing to talk about that uh, we've got this is a big package y'all we've got a flounder gigging a free flounder gigging bow fishing charter trip with me we'll get together set up a date and go uh, we have got this prize package from fish bites we also have this gift package from hawk soap company which i love love their products we also have a relentless series hobo custom rod that one's got value bandit charters on it. But you'll get to choose between a bait caster or a spinning rod. The action, the length. We'll get with Chris Guy on that. Decide what you want. He'll make you that rod. Also, you'll get Bayou Bandit Tumbler. And y'all know, everybody that's been on the gigging trips with me knows I give everybody a koozie that comes on board the boat and i've got some truck decal stickers for y'all as well so this good video we got coming up it's a flounder gigging video well chris guy from hobo rods on his family on board a lot of action uh stay tuned watch the video and i'll see you in a minute What's going on y'all captain jody bayou bandit charters welcome back to the channel out here tonight gonna do a little flounder gigging got my book good buddy chris guy going on? hobo custom rods that is the man the myth the legend right there he is the guy does an awesome job y'all know i love his rods been using them a long time can't say enough about him i stand behind his work 100 percent got his family out here gonna try to get on some flounder y'all uh also tonight i'm gonna be doing a video with my five star led lights from victor mcnew uh to show y'all the difference between the 2200 kelvin and the 2700 kelvin uh wish us luck conditions are beautiful we got a falling tide calm y'all look at that slick as glass beautiful tonight out here in this bayou just waiting on it to get dark stay tuned all right first blood no you good just twist and pull up right there you ain't got to walk back to the boat you got him in the boat son boom first flounder first flounder right there let's see that rascal look at there good about 15 15 and a half inch fish good job and it ain't even good and dark yet y'all there you go Twist and pull up, son. All right. There you go. Put him in the box. Flounder number two. Boom. All right. Flounder number three. Good job, man. There you go. In the box. No bitty thing. Whoa. All right, y'all. We have 
We have got some stained water, but I'm able to see real good with these 2200 lights. I already picked up three flounder and it's, it's not even fully dark yet. We've been floundering maybe 10 minutes. Uh, so I'm expecting a, a good night, but you can see, you can see the difference in the 22s. I'll step back a minute and let me walk back with the light. You can see the difference in the 2200 lights here and I'll walk on back and you can see the 2700 lights. You can still see with the 2700s, but the 22s are, are much, uh, much better in my opinion for the stained water. And uh, I'll be swapping out my, oh, there he is. Good, oh, get him again, get him. All right, on the double tap. There we go, woo. Son, flounder number four. Well, you know, it happens. Boom. Not only can the man build the best rods on the planet, he can also gig the crap out of flounder. And he got that natural eye too. But as I was saying before all the excitement, oh, if you want some of these lights, contact Victor McNew, five star LED. Uh, these are DC lights. These are 50 watt DC lights in the 2200 Kelvin. Uh, he has AC lights. He has lights, 200 watt lights. He's got everything. What I'm running is, uh, is 10 of the 50s. An old stingray right there swimming along. So I will probably be replacing the 2700s with more 2200s. Uh, but I love them. I've been doing this for 40 years and I have went through all types of lights uh, over the years. Never had any that I had as much faith and I liked as much being able to see in this stained water that we have a lot of times in Alabama and Mississippi. <laughs> you got anything to say about that mullet? It's no. Like mama's cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Watch this, y'all. Y'all check out that big old gar. See him right there? See how big he is? Look at that rascal. That's right. No! <laughs> Look at that big rascal, y'all. Whoop! He gone. One or two bull minnows in the area. Just one or two. Oh, we got him. That's a mullet slayer right there, son. That's what I'm talking about. Mullet slayer. Boom, over the rail and in the pail. Some of that Bayou bacon, y'all. Get him, son, get him. Oh! He said not tonight. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Oh, gig him. Oh, get up. Oh. Careful with him. Don't let him get off. I don't think he's got him good. There you go. Got a double right here if we can pick up this other one. I don't know if that other one's still there or where he took off. He's still there. Hold on, hold on. Let, let me get closer. All right, he's down. He's down on him. He's down. Gig hard. There you go. Twist. twist and pull up. In the boat. All right. There we go. Look at there. First flounder ever. Awesome. Good job. How many have we already got? I think it's six. Six. There we go, y'all. Double. Do you, see what, do you see what we were looking at while we were there, Kathy? Oh, I, the one there, the one right there. There's one right there. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. 
Gigging. <laughs> that's a good one. That's the biggest one of the night. That's a doormat right there, y'all. Oh! That's Cassie's one right there. Look at that right there, y'all. That's what we come here to get. Let me. That's what we come here to get. We're we'll sliding down a little bit, and I'll let's we'll put him on this uh, scale right here. See what we're talking about. I'm gonna say 18. I'm gonna say 20. 20. 20 and a quarter. Good and son. Over the rail and in the pail. He laid up there on top of that grass, y'all. He was he was here too. Yep. Boom. Good job, brother. Hey. These lights are bad to the bone. Oh. Oh yeah. Yeah. Way better. You don't realize how stained this water is that we're in. You said you think the color of that Oh, yeah. yeah. That 2200 Kelvin light spectrum and just being good quality, true Kelvin and true wattage lights. All right, y'all. We found a, a flounder way up on the hill. Chris got him, long pulled him. Perfect head shot, brother. Perfect head shot. Perfect head shot. No meat wasted. Over the rail and in the pail. That's another thing I like about these five-star lights, y'all. We were we were way away from the bank. We were out here outside the edge of this grass, and you can see way up here to the bank. And he he was shining. He was shining pretty. All right, I've been using this product for about a month. I hadn't said anything to anybody about it yet on my channel. It's by Hawk Soap Company. It's a uh, Skeeter Hawk. It's all natural ingredient. There's no DEET in it at all. Uh, doing this charting all the time, I've always been a believer in 40% DEET, 40% DEET. And spraying down, spraying down night after night, that stuff started giving me headaches, started making me feel sick. A lot of times I got small kids on the boat and I don't want to spray them down with poison, right? So I've been using this for about a month now. Uh, it works really, really good for no seams, mosquitoes, and I found out it works great for yellow flies too. And uh, it's been a good product. Uh, we used it in the first part of the night, and it's been working really, really well for us. We're out here in the bayou, y'all. It's still tonight. There's no wind blowing at all. And if y'all have ever been in the marsh system at night, with it very calm, we've got a little slight north breeze, like one mile an hour maybe, and that's just pulling those no seams out here on us and uh since we sprayed down we hadn't had any issues uh i'll leave the link in the description below for hawk soap company and uh get you some skeeter hawk we'll try it uh it smells really nice and it works really really well all right y'all we got another flounder up here we're backing up can't see him in the 2700 lights there he is he's gonna be too small though He's right there under my gig. I'm gonna bump him. He's a little bit too small though. There he goes. There he goes. All right, we just spotted a flounder. We're gonna back up and make sure he's big enough to gig. See if we can find him again. All right, you might wanna go on the other side. We're gonna just ease up there. See if we can find him. All right, I see him. He's right down there by my gig, but let me look, make sure. I don't think he's going to be big enough. He looks like he is. Nope, he's going to be a little bit too small. No, he ain't. I see the rest of him now. Yeah, gig him. Twist and pull up slow. Pick him up. There you go. All right. Good eye. Good gig. About a 14-inch fish.
There he is, there he is. Gig him. Oh, you like to miss him. Hold him down. All right, come up together. Whoo! See how them gigs slid on him? We got him though, y'all. We got him. That was almost a near miss. Scratched his back. All right. Go ahead and get yours off first. All right. In the box. Getting a box full of fish. All right. Another one in the box, fellas. He was buried up. All right, y'all, we saw a flounder. He is way up there on the bank. We're gonna, we're gonna back the boat up, get as close as we can to him. He's gonna be a little too small. He's gonna be a little too small, but he's right, right there. <laughs> he gone. Thing rays everywhere. And another one over there, and another one right there. And another one up there. And another one. And another one. <laughs> there you go. Are you sure? Uh, are you sure? I got one. Yeah. Well, look at there. Y'all, y'all. <laughs> Teamwork right there. For those who've been watching my channel, y'all know I put lithium batteries on my trolling motor setup. I haven't done that yet on my lights. I like running quiet. Y'all can hear the generator running. Uh, about the last hour of the trip, I'm having to run a generator for my lights since I went to uh, all my new five-star lights. Uh, I've got a higher wattage light than I had before, and uh, so I'm having to run a generator for that. But uh, speaking of speaking of my uh, trolling motor batteries, we have run this trolling motor very very hard today or tonight i should say let me pull up the app and see uh see where we're at on usage it's showing my three batteries and i'm at 65 percent after a good hard night of chartering so yeah we're at 65 percent which is awesome for the way we've been running this trolling motor tonight dragging it through these mud flats uh, if y'all are interested in uh, getting you some ionic lithium batteries only one that has the app with them uh, contact Danny Rogers with performance fishing electronics the link will be in the description below uh, if you hadn't seen my video of the install of the batteries me going through all that uh, I'll link this video right there you can watch it and it'll also be at the end of the video as well all right, y'all, we're fixing to wrap it up. Had a good night tonight. Got 16 flounder. What do you think about it, Hobo? Y'all have awesome a good time? time? Awesome time. Yes. Good deal. 16 flounder. One big one right there, about 20 inches long. Smallest one we got. That one right there. And he hits the scale at about 14 inches, y'all. So, old crab trying to clock crawl off got a couple of blue crabs too she he's fixing about somebody's toe over there. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all enjoyed the video give me a thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button thank y'all see y'all on the next one all right y'all i hope y'all enjoyed the video if y'all want to come out on a flounder gigging bow fishing charter with me call that number right there book a trip as you can see it was a fun time it always is i enjoy it loads loads of fun get some meat to take back home for a good fish fry. Uh, 
for the drawing. These are the rules of drawing. Simple, easy. Need to be a subscriber of the channel. Like the video. If you can, hit the notification bell to be notified of upcoming videos. But the main thing is, is I want all of y'all to enter. You must leave a comment, and I want the comment to be what videos do you like most from this channel? Whether it be flounder gig and bow fishing, rod and reel fishing for flounder or speckled trout or reds, or, or any ideas that you want to see in a video. Uh, no wrong answers, just comment with what y'all like to see more of. That'll help me improve as a YouTuber, make my channel more interesting to my subscribers. And that is it, y'all. Uh, the deadline for entering this drawing will be Sunday at high noon, the 26th, June 26th. The video should be out by Monday or Tuesday of next week. And we'll have a drawing, draw the winner. And it's still too, not too late to subscribe. You subscribe right now, you'll be in the drawing. This is for all my subscribers too. So, thank y'all. Thank you for all the support for watching my videos. I'll see y'all on the next one.